Welcome to Inside the Herd, exclusively on Bisons.com. As we prepare for the 2010 season, Buffalo welcomes back an old friend, Terry Collins, the former manager and Buffalo Baseball Hall of Famer, kind enough to stop by in preparation to the Hot Stove Luncheon, which many Bison fans packed the Adams Mark Hotel and found out it was sold out. has to feel great to see another sellout crowd when you come back to this city. I, I've been here enough times, it seems like that's all I ever see, so, sellout crowds, and uh, this is probably my favorite place I've ever been in baseball and it's really fun to be back. Was there a lot of anticipation coming up to this date for you to come back to a city that you love so much? Absolutely. You know, of course, not only just my friendships with, you know, Mike Buchkowski and John Dandies and Bob Rich and, you know, the whole organization. It's just that I, we were treated so well in the city. Um, I only want the best for the, what, you know, for the for Buffalo and, and, and the Bison team, and that's why I'm excited about the, the opportunity to put a, a, a team on the field that hopefully represents the, what I believe in and gets gets the Bison fans back in the ballpark. And that's part of the reason that Terry is back in Buffalo. He's now taking a new position with the New York Mets, and there's some work ahead of you. Yeah, we got a lot of work ahead of us. You know, it doesn't. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, we we are working very very hard to find some AAA players and some free agents that come in here and, and uh, kind of give a base and, and, you know, a good strong core to the club and then fill in around them with some good young prospects that I think the people really want to see because when I was here, that's the kind of players that were here were the, were the pirate prospects that, you know, eventually played in the, in the major leagues and became good major leaguers. Is there a craft that you can still mold players into these days when you prepare them to be a big leaguer, but more, more importantly, make them concentrate on their development? Well, to be honest, you know, after especially after getting to the major leagues, I really – came to realize how important it was for our guys to have a chance to play in Buffalo because they were treated like major league players are treated. They had a beautiful ballpark. They got a great clubhouse. You've got TV people out all the time. You've got uh, a lot of a lot of fans in the ballpark. You're in a town that is there's other major league other major league teams and to be exposed to that helps speeds up the development. Now when you get to the major leagues that other stuff is you don't have to worry about it because you're used to it. When you talk about the players that are making that transition and going into even a bigger stage than what you had when they were headed to Pittsburgh, you're, now you're going to New York and you have all those bright lights. What kind of mold do you have to have player-wise, whether it be a six-year free agent guy that you're trying to acquire or the up-and-coming and very promising prospects that the Mets have? Well, you know, talent plays. Obviously, talent, you know, that's what gets the guys even to AAA or AA with their ability. Once now, once that ability starts to play, they've got it becomes a mind game, and you've got to be strong-willed. You've got to have a strong mind. Uh, you can't let the good days, rot, you know, be in control, and you can't let the bad days get to you. You've got to have this. You got to be able to maintain this focus of every day is going to be the same, whether you're 0 for 4 or 4 for 4, and especially if you're going to play in New York, because even some of those games you're 4 for 4, something's going to happen on the field, and you know you're going to hear it from the stands. So you've got to be again. You've got to realize that the game's difficult. You've got to realize that you're talented, and you've got to go out there and execute because that bottom line, that's what's going to win games. Bison fans watching our program today maybe have a leg up on you even because they're familiar with the players that came through last year. How much of an adjustment has it been for you to get to know what could be in Buffalo and the players that are in the system overall? Well, I've, I've read game, I've read their scout reports on these players. I've watched some film of them. Obviously, it's not as like you can see them live and in person, but the one thing I'm trying to do is get to know them personally. Uh, I will meet with every single player in the Mets organization during spring training at some time. I've already met with 20 or 25 of them um, to get let them get, have them get a feel for what what's going to be expected of them from now on. I can't worry about what happened last year or the, the year before that. I can only worry about what, what's going to happen now. And I want those guys to understand that they're going to be respected. Um, and in turn, they have to have some respect back, give the, give the game some respect back, and give us uh, prepare themselves a little bit better and hopefully execute a little bit better. Who are some of the guys that you think of looking at paper that Bison fans could look forward to seeing this year. Well, again, not knowing many of them, but I know that Ike Davis is going to be the first baseman here. That's already been discussed, and uh, he had a great Arizona Fall League, and he's one of the up-and-coming prospects in the Mets organization. Uh, a young catcher named Tolley, who's supposed to be a real good offensive player, uh, he'll be here. In the middle of the infield, you know, the, the Mets have signed some six-year free agents to try to bolster the middle of the infield a little bit. Uh, Russ Adams is a shortstop. I know a good-looking shortstop that they've signed. They signed a couple of third basemen uh, to give us some power. Hessman, Mike Hessman, I think, has had real good numbers in the International League before. Um, the outfield, Fernando Martinez will be here, which people tell me he's one of the, if not the top prospect in the Mets organization. So, uh, 
you know, again, we're going to try to fill in around those guys, those young prospects with some good veteran guys who also are, are some leaders. You know, uh, those six-year free agents, they can, they can make it tough on those young players if, if it's not the right mix. And so we think we've, we've done a lot of uh, work on the personality of these guys to make sure that our young players are around the quality people we want them to be. Is it a bigger adjustment for you looking at your role now in the New York Mets system overall from being in that managerial chair? Is it harder to keep a pulse on what's going on at the individual organizations? It, it truly is. I mean, because, you, you know, there's seven teams, and you, so you're on the go, and, you're, you're, you know, you have a, a lot of different clubs to worry about, not just one. Um, but I will be here once a month, you know, uh, certainly with a lot of daily phone calls to make sure things are going okay. Um, with my relationship with the people in the front office here, obviously I'll have a little bit better idea of what's going on uh, and then just coming in because I, I talked to them a lot anyway and before I was even with the Mets. So, but this is now, you know, this is going to be a big project for me and I want to make sure that these, the people in, in Buffalo understand that uh, we're going we're gonna to make this a better place. Terry Collins joining us here on Bisons.com. Lots for Bison fans to look forward to heading into 2010. We, we, we will rewind the track a little bit because the memories that you talked about and the relationships that you built come back from the late 80s and early 90s when you had some time here. Very memorable times, but also a very significant time in baseball because the implementation of the All-Star Game, which was also announced here this weekend when you were in town. What was that experience like being the first ever when you came to Buffalo? Well, when they when they was first announced that there was going to be a AAA All-Star Game, uh, all the teams in AAA were all excited. I was in the Pacific Coast League at the time and that was the talk amongst the players and amongst the other managers about wow it's about time that you know people in the United States around gets to can start seeing AAA baseball and realizing that there are some real good players out there. Now not having been in Buffalo I did not know what to expect and when I got here and saw the ballpark and uh, saw the fans jam-packed the place it was a tremendous thrill to be here uh, I, that's when I first got to meet Bob Rich and you knew right away that this was going to be a quality place and the next year the opportunity for me to come and manage here came about it was an easy decision to, to make to, to make sure I wanted this was the place I wanted to come two easy decisions in your professional baseball career taking that job and hopefully now taking the Mets position. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I hope they work out. I hope this Mets job worked out as good as that job was because that was when I came to Buffalo, you know, I'd been a Dodger for 15 years and knew nothing else. And when I came to Buffalo and saw, met other people and met other organizations and saw different players, uh, I really thought it helped my development in, as, as far as managing goes. But there's some great things to take from those 15 years with the Dodgers and the Dodger way. And now pulling all those experiences you've had, not only in the United States, but across the Pacific as well, you can really bring a very well-rounded experience and experiences of other people that you've come across to really build what will become the lifeblood of the New York Mets. Well, we certainly hope so. And yeah, I've had a tremendous career. I've been very, very lucky. I've been blessed to have good players. That's, that's where it starts. But, you know, there's a, there's a respect you have to have for the game of baseball. None of us would be in the positions we're in today if it wasn't for the game. So what we're going to try to instill in our players is to have respect for each other, but have a great respect for the game of baseball. And therefore, there's got to be something given back to the game, and that's effort. That's effort, that's preparation, and that's execution. And we're going to teach that. We're going to drill it and we're going to drill it and we're going to make sure that they understand that the Mets are the, you know, we're going to try to make the Mets the best organization in all of baseball and it, it has to start with them. You know, where the staff is, will buy into it and as you know, you know, if we can, if our leadership is in the right place and in head in the right direction, the players will follow it. So we're going to start with our coaches and our managers and get them to understand that they're going to, they've got a great job to do, they've got to go do it and uh, I think the rewards will be there in the end. Buffalo's manager Ken Overbell returns once again to the field. Have you had much conversation with Obi? Well, I, I went to the Dominican. Uh, obviously, he's real busy now. He's in the finals in the Dominican uh, Winter League, so we're, we're certainly we're rooting him on. And uh, but I, I've known Obi for a long time. Actually, I was he was one of the players when I was in Pittsburgh as a coach. So I've known him for many, many years, and I know he does a great job here. And, uh, I know he was very frustrated with the way the season went last year, and I know that you know, I've already talked to him. Look, you got that's in the past. We got to work. You know, you got to learn from it. But we're going to move on, and we're going to give you something better to work with. Bison fans, move on. April eighth, opening day, when Buffalo hits the road to open up and get ready for their home opener against the Pawtucket Red Sox coming up in the 2010 season. Terry, we look so forward to seeing you, you throughout My Buffalo pleasure. and the season. My pleasure. Thank Bison's you. Com, your home for everything Bison's and exclusive content like going inside the herd with manager, former Bison's manager, Terry Collins.